Hi guys, so I got some products from Sasha Cosmetics. I'm super excited to try these because you guys know that YouTube can hype up some things. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is testing out the infamous Buttercup powder and some more products that I was sent. So if you're interested, please continue to watch. Okay, we will be testing out the Mattifier Face Primer, the Buttercup Setting Powder. I have the loose and I have the one in the compact they look like this whichever one floats your boat Your powder blush to contour the powder blush in radiant glow to highlight Okay, you guys, my face is clean. I already did my eyebrows. I put on some Vegas Nay eyelid lashes. And we're just going to finish off the rest of the face. Okay, so that's what we are going to do right now and test these. So I will be testing everything that I was sent. This is the Mattifier Face Primer, which is perfect for me. Because if you guys know me, you know I have oily skin. So I'm just going to apply this on as I would any other primer. You get one ounce in here. So I have one hand, so I'm just going to dot it over the face, everywhere. My whole entire face gets oily, guys. But the trouble areas, you guys know, your nose, this T-zone area. So now I'm just going to rub it in, okay? The texture. Feels, it actually feels silicone-based. Um, let's see. The water. Okay, it's water based. Has a good feeling to it. So what I like to test with my mattifying primers is a lot of primers like my makeup for like my makeup ever one step step primer will matte out my face but it don't fight my oil throughout the day. I continue to get oily. Now when I'm applying my makeup and I put this on, it mats my face out really good, but throughout the day it don't help fight the oil. So that's what I'm going to test with this. So what I'm about to do now is apply my foundation and I will be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which you guys know is my favorite, in Amber Honey. And I will be using my Kat Von D foundation because it's lighter as a concealer and I'll be right back. So now that we have our foundation and concealer on, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup Powder, the loose powder to set, okay? Um, this Everybody use this. This is my first time. I know I'm late, but I'm going to test it out and I'm going to test it out with a flash also. And then I'm going to come back later and see how it held up. Now, if you're not the loose powder type of girl or like to carry your powder in your purse, you can get it in a compact form that looks like this it is called the Sasha matte face powder and it is in the color buttercup it has a mirror up here up top you have your powder and there's a little protective glass over it and then you have a sponge so if you oily you have oily skin you can take this in your purse to go in and you don't have to worry about it spilling everywhere now on clients and myself I prefer the loose powder they're easier to bake with and to um, work with but if you want it for your purse make sure you pick this one up so of course this is a yellow powder so it will be used to brighten so be careful with this depending on your skin tone your skin shade yeah that's all I'm gonna say about that so I'm just gonna apply this everywhere I put the concealer and this is one locking it in place and brightening it and making it brighter that's what you have right there so I set the rest of my face with my face powder and I'm gonna take a kabuki and just wipe this um, buttercup powder on. okay guys how are we looking so far I look a lot of orange in the viewfinder but so next we're gonna try this powder blush 
and I will put the name across the screen because there is nothing on the back but we're going to try this to contour. It's just this very pretty chocolate brown. Okay, you guys. So, I'm just going to take a contour brush that looks like this from Sonya Kashuk. And I'm going to chisel out my cheeks. Well, you know what? This is not what I usually use, though. Maybe I should use what I usually use, huh? This fan brush from Pretty Girl Brushes. And I just swoop it like that. Make sure it's good on there. And I just perfect. It's not too dark, it's not too muddy. So, yeah. And usually, what you could do is take that buttercup powder and put it right here to make that sharp, but it is already popping, baby. So, we don't need that at all. And you guys know I am a powder contour type girl. I don't believe in drawing all those diagrams and pie charts and stuff on your face. I feel like in the end you'll get the same result. So, but that's my opinion. Do whatever you feel like doing. I mean, I am loving this. So, what I'm going to do is put this on my nose also, but I'm going to use a very fluffy brush and a light hand because it is dark, okay? So, this right here is a Delium Tools 777 brush. I'm just going to tap just a little bit and I probably even like take the excess off on the back of my hand and then proceed to come to my nose. That's one side right there. You guys see that? So yeah, that's it. So I went ahead and added blush and lipstick. And now we're going to highlight. We're going to test out another powder blush. And this one is called Radiant Glow. Okay. Kind of put me in the mind of Norris Albatross. Y'all remember that? What happened to that? YouTube hyped it up and now you don't even hear about it. But yeah, we're going to just put this on to glow. So there you have everything. I'm loving it so far. I think my face looks good and smooth. The glow is not too pale. It's just enough to where it looks like I'm glowing from within. The powder on me is not like super bright, like yellow bright, but you can see where it's highlighting my face. So yeah, let's test it. I'll be back. Oh, but first, what we're going to do is test it with a flash so let's turn the light off <laughs> so I put the pictures in there with the flash so looks pretty good to me I have to go back and look on camera so I'll be right back this, this is the word is the word of a pyro pyro maniac okay guys it is hours later I mean hours it is almost two o'clock you guys can see that and I put this on at 8 highly highly impressed okay as far as the powder the um, buttercup powder what I look for in my loose powders I like it when I can just sweep them right off the face some powders I have they stick to the face a little bit and get a little patchy so I did not have that problem at all with this powder I do not have the extra brightness. A lot of people say it's too, too yellow for them. And so they mix it with other powders. I didn't have that problem at all. I don't think I do. Um, and yeah, it it's not making my skin look super dry or anything. And it held up. And none of my makeup is transferring. So I am highly impressed with that powder. Um, along with the primer. You guys know I'm really oily. So I just knew by now everything will be separating and breaking up and it's not. So you guys already know I was impressed with the highlighter and the contour. So 
I highly recommend everything, everything that I was sent. I mean, everything. So, that's my quick little review. I don't know. It might not be quick, but that's my review. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching.